Hi everyone, this is Rabinda. I'm back with another simple tutorial. This time we'll be creating a Ethereum symbol icon basically. So yeah, so this will be like a very quick tutorial. Uh, so let's get started. So first start with modeling uh, our scene. So you know, first we'll be creating that Ethereum shape. So we'll be using cone. Uh, you know, uh, so let's reduce the vertices amount to four and uh, depth to somewhere one point eight. Let's move to the left view or maybe in the front view, whatever you know, the view where you can see the one side of, only one side of it. So let's grab and move up like this. And uh, similarly, we can do a duplicate by holding Shift D and do a right click, and we move to the the wireframe view, scale it something like this, and G Z move it down. Right. Yep. Now we'll select both of these to Shift D and right click mirror global Z. Now it will you know, flip the Ethereum shape something like this. We can also move it you know, towards the screen precisely in the center. Okay. All right. So this is one. Now, as you can see, the edges are a bit sharp. So we'll be you know, smoothing it out by going to the modifier and add modifier and go to bevel. So we'll adjust the shape. Uh, maybe we'll you know, give the amount to somewhere around 0.2 yep. and for the segments we'll crank those up I want this smooth shape something around 40 yeah and you're gonna go, again go to you know, right click and shade auto smooth yeah and we can also copy our modifier or maybe you know you can also hit ctrl a for apply scale yeah and yeah and you can do this for each and every element, for example, like this, and control A apply scale. And now we can copy modifier, you know, sh shift press all these three items, and shift press this item, and press control L, and you can hit copy modifier. So all the modifiers which you, which you have applied to this main object are now copied to this object. I um, mean, to each and every shape that you have selected. Okay. Now we have this you know, basic shape, but we also need a base uh, you know, stand that you have seen in the video thumbnail. So we can uh, create a you know a plane, right? And we can also make that isolated with the slash key in your keyboard. So to make those uh, you know, corner rounded in the vertices mode, you can you know have that short shortcut of control shift and uh, B. And when you move your mouse towards left and increase by now moving the mouse wheel up, you can see that uh, uh, your uh, you know edges are getting rounded. So I think I am good with this shape. And slight increase more the radius. Yeah, something like this. And now again go to you can hold press, you can press three, move into the face mode, and E for extrude and Z for you know, moving to the to towards down. So yeah, you can the shape in GZ slightly more right something like this and again you could you can do right click and shade auto smooth uh, so this is one and also here as well you can also you know add a little bit of uh, bevel so select this bevel and I just need very small bevel bit of vertices something like this yeah, yeah. this is good now we can as you know exit the the isolated mode so yeah like this and we can see that uh, we have this shape which is merging merging in the ethereum shape so we can hold g and move it towards z something like this and you know, i'll move it towards top okay so this is our base shape uh let's go to front view or maybe you know for the background we can also create another plane by rotating to the x-axis, scaling 10, and moving it y, right? So, so far we haven't added our uh, our camera, so maybe we can add a camera now. So something like this, and for the view, I'm actually happy with this, this front view, something like this. Yeah. 
And again, as usual, I'll press this shortcut of Control Alt and Thumb Pad Zero, so that my camera is in the is in my view, right? I can again I can again further adjust my camera by opening another view, like I do that usually. So this is my camera, and I set it, set up the angles like this, right? Now I can use my axis something like this and uh, I can adjust my uh, background by going into the edit view scale and uh, X something like this yeah that's fine now I have to center my camera so for X hit zero yeah so this is my view right okay so I slightly move that now a little bit off this is good. So for this scene, uh, I'll probably you know create a couple of area lights. So let's add one light uh, area. Uh, move that up. Scale it up. Yeah, something like this. Okay. So I also need one more light, which is somewhere over here, and this will be my light that gives a subtle reflection to that ethereum symbol. So to to give that a more interesting look, I'll probably um, you know, rotate my face towards you know, Z, so that we have that forty five degree angle, slightly round shape. Okay. To set up my scene, I'll increase my you know uh, the sample size here. So yeah, I'll choose twelve diffuse four glossy four transmission because I want to use some glossiness and you know transmission as well. So I'll crank, crank that up to 10 for now and transmit C to 12. Okay. So uh, since we have this light, uh, I'll probably, for now we can probably enable my render view. So this is my render view. I'll increase my light first of all. Uh, so I can go to somewhere around 800. Yeah, this is nice. I reduce my angles around 140. This looks cool and I do this same thing and I'll select my second light and probably adjust the angle to 120 and I give some more glossiness to it and uh, I'll probably reduce the size right here or probably I should increase it you know big so like like bring that whole scene up right Okay, so here, uh, now that we have mostly our scene set up, I can probably not enable the shadow for this light uh, because I just want my area light to be more prominent. And I can also move that slightly up yeah, that we have seen. To deepen up my lights. Now I can slightly rotate so that we don't have that straight shadow. Up from here, okay. yeah, slanted shape. Okay, uh, and for this one, I can also increase my the overall the area for the space scales the subject for now. So, yeah, this is the base. I'll probably hit Alt Control A scale, and I do the same thing for my background. So yeah, so this is my basic scene. Now for the for the environment, I'll probably go to the world settings, and under world, I choose sky texture. Same here, and again I set my A to zero. Yeah, so so this gives that you know kind of studio uh, look to it, right? You can see this this gives slightly different dimension. It's more uh, stylized view of that icon, right? For the background, I'll probably rotate my angle to somewhere, you know, maybe that bring that elevation around uh, 60 and try to rotate that part somewhere around minus 90. Yeah. This, is, this looks good. And I can probably move that strength 
exposure is too much. Reduce that exposure like this. Okay, I want to reduce my lighting properly to somewhere 500. It's too feeling too bright. So we'll adjust that basis on our uh, overall lighting, and this could be my four hundred. Yep. You can scale that up if you want. Adjust the light. Uh, you can also adjust the light size a bit. Now we can. Uh, what we can do is we can start with the uh, adding the uh, the material, right? So let's start with our uh, with the background material. BG. Let me probably remove this one. And vision. Vision to surface. And for this one, I can go with gradient texture. Yeah. And the color ramp. I'm going to mix the gradient texture with the noise shader. Noise texture. Sorry. Mix RGB, right? Color two, color two. I can mix with the yeah. Can I choose that slightly grayish color, something like this? I can use that method to I think let's make it linear only, but slightly make that dull, right? Move that to the color strength. Yep. Now I can go to the separate XYZ. Plug that value to the X value to the vector. Yeah. Now I can control T to bring these nodes up. I can enable node wrangler add on for these two. Right. And for the noise uh, settings, I can think. I'm good with these with the, with the default settings only. And for the gradient texture, I can go with the spherical value to the object view, right? So I can maybe scale that up if it works because I want that thing to take most of my space. So I can do like this. Yeah, but that vector value should be somewhere around here. And here I can probably use my these apply yeah, to make that soften or maybe ease. Ease is slightly dark, or maybe I can change the, my value to some, something like this. What vector? Yeah, yeah, this is this is nice. Okay. Alright, as you can see my Ethereum is too bright. I can so now I think the the world light which is causing that much of strength. Yeah, I can reduce my strength somewhere like this. Or maybe I can change my sun intensity to 0.5. Yep, I think this is doing that that value I'm completely changed to zero. I think that works. Now I have that more control over Again, I can bring my exposure back to zero. Yeah, this is this is good. All right, so all right. How about this one? Yeah, this is great. I can slightly I change my I can change my background to again to the brighter shade. I mean, not the brighter, but I would say bring some more colors in it. And I can again go to slightly bluish color. Light, light bright shade in the background okay. this looks good okay now to that ethereum symbol right now you can create a symbol now you can name is it top for the material uh, you know first of all i'll change my uh, you know transmission to 100% and transmission roughness to somewhere around here right now I can go to my color ramp. I'll pull up the things which I need for this texture. This is separate XYZ. This is mapping. Oops, 
not mapping. I can do that by my add-on, right? So now I simply need to plug those things up. Uh, no, not C. Yeah, C. Color, color to base. Now same color will go to the emission, right? All right. So instead of this, I can copy change my color now. So the color should be now here. I can probably choose white, and here I can probably choose something which resembles my background. Something like this. Right. Cool. Right. Okay. So this is my shape, but as you can see, that it's not you know transparent anymore. Why? Let's see. So now I have to uh, we have to adjust some settings because like something is changing it, changing it to spherical, and I can probably scale my Z, X is somewhere point one, and again we can also rotate my you know axis to something like this. Yep, this looks good. And right now, as you can see, that it's not uh, you know, at hundred percent. Yeah, it's giving that transmission. Yeah, probably, I don't want to give that emission color right now. Okay. Now for the core, uh, you know, element, we can again go to it. It four, right? I can probably you know uh, change my uh, you know some settings over here. Can probably introduce color ramp. Yep, I can introduce Voronoi texture. I can add noise texture. Yeah, not white white noise, only noise. So I can go to the mix RGB. So I can plug my color value somewhere here and color two somewhere here, right? Color and this color to this color, right? Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, we have to adjust some of the colors over here, right? You can you know, play with my some of the color settings. So this is up to you. So you can add any of the color that you feel like. So it's all depending on your creativity. Right? For this one, I'll choose few colors. Uh, yeah, this one. We have two, three more options somewhere here. This one is here. I can go with bright shade of blue. Now this one, bright shade of teal. Yeah, I can also add one more, which is some darker shade of teal. And this one could be the bright pink. Yeah, bright pink. So, yeah, as you can see that we have that uh, shape, but right now it's not that visible. First of all, let's focus on this shape, this shape only. I can change my factor value or maybe my, you know, the, the noise value, noise texture value to 2 and I simply reduce everything, something like this. We have nice shape of this Ethereum core. Uh, I, can, I think for the scale, I can probably increase my scale. Is, is good, right? So this is my core, All right? I can probably change or maybe pull that value in the emission as well. Now I can enable the the top base. Now, I, as you can see, that it's now it's very bright over here. So we can again change some value or maybe rotate some gradient around it uh, to give that more brighter look. Some and for the base, again, again, select this one and select this one. Control L, you can link material. And same for the core, you can select both these cores and link Control L, link material, right? But now, as you can see, that uh, you know the the base is slightly dark, so we'll fix that up. So the reason is we have to uh, you know make that you know mesh. I mean the normal 
has to be flipped as well, right? So to do that, you can select the shape, go to the edit view, go to edit view, go to mesh, normals and flip. Now, as you can see that now we have that you know shape. Now it's I think time to adjust a few more lights. Uh, one is I can we can crank up the settings so that it's more bright. Maybe a slight more bright. Like this, that we have more you know, gloss in the, in, the, in the top section. So, for the base, I'm using a material, uh, you know, a texture from blenderkit.com. So, I can I can play, paste that material link uh, in the description so you can download it from there. So, for now, I just you know, applied that material. So, as you can see, that it has a uh, some you know, textures which are applied automatically via the Node Wrangler add on. So, yeah, so this is the final look of it so let's do a test render so welcome back so as you can see the colors that we have chosen these are like bright enough and it's looking nice so yeah so i think you can experiment with different shapes and um, you know different color combinations and different textures to create this kind of look and i have also added my instagram channel in the description so yeah this is it thank you so much see you next time bye